Hello all and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today in this particular video, we are going to see how we can use ChatGPT's capability on VS Studio. So these days we are able to witness a lot of developments in generative AI world. So there are a lot of models that are coming uh, in the generative AI world like ChatGPT is one of them and there are various uh, text to video, text to image uh, models that are coming up uh, that are making the AI world very very interesting. So this is the right time to be in, in involved in the generative AI world so that you can under understand the basics like how the, these things are working and ultimately uh, these things are going to use in the future for the uh, different applications. And you can also use these kind of capabilities for your own applications and maybe you can build up a new kind of uh, business out of these particular generative AI models. So there are a lot of developments that are going up and that will be coming up in future. So we have to be updated in terms of all the all the applications that are coming up with respect to generative AI. And that's the purpose of this particular video. So we are going to use the chat GPT's capability uh, on the VS code to, direct, to directly uh, use the, those uh, commands and the inputs that we generally forward to the chat GPT for our use cases and we are going to directly use it on the VS code. So the first thing uh, we have to install a code GPT extension into the VS code. So this is an official uh, code GPT extension that you are able to see on the screen that is available from uh, G code GPT and then you can utilize this extension over your VS code VS studio and you can start using the same prompts whatever you were using on the open AI uh, chat GPT platform. So this extension will help you to directly uh, capture the information from the open open AI APIs. So this is the uh, wonderful way that you can directly use it directly from the VS code. So for that first we need to install this extension from VS code. So in the extension menu you can go and type code GPT and you have to look for code GPT extension and it should have this kind of icon and to click on install. And once you have installed this particular code GPT in your VS code then you can see there are some uh, official steps that are given and how you can take up this particular code GPT and uh, use the APIs of OpenAI and call those particular prompts directly from uh, the particular VS code right. So these are the uh, different things that we have to follow up. So first thing you can see there is already written like uh, we have to use OpenAI API. So we have to visit this OpenAI API to get the API keys. So for that first we need to go into OpenAI and you're going to get this kind of uh, web page from OpenAI and then you can open the API page and then you have to log in into this particular portal so that you can access the uh, OpenAI's platform and then you're going to uh, continue with the logging part and once you logged in you're going to get some some page like this right so you're going to get an access and uh, you're going to log in into this particular profile of yours on OpenAI and then over there you can go and into the account section and then you're going to see this view API keys right so over there you have to create this uh, this particular secret key right so you can just click on this create secret key and you're going to just create a secret for you and, and then you have to just copy this particular secret key for your application and then once you have copied it then we have to just uh, right click on this particular dot py file that you're going to create or you can just create it by clicking on uh, with the plus button and you can click on any of the file extension that you have created from here. So I just created the py file and then uh, because I, I just want to write the code in python right so I have created a py, py, uh, py file over here and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click right click on over here and just click on this ask code gpt and then I'm going to specify uh, the prompt right. So I'm going to just specify like how I'm going to create a deep learning CNN model using Keras with multi classification. So I'm just going to click enter and then it's gonna just submit it to the code GPT. And you like I have already set up this code GPT on a VS code, so it didn't ask me for uh, setting up an API. But once you uh, right click on over here and click on ask GPT code and then you specify the prompt, you're gonna get an API key entering a taskbar and over there you have to specify the uh, the key that access key that you have copied from the open AI and then you want to hit the enter and then you want to get this particular kind of code from the uh, chat GPT that it is using from the backend. 
so you can see it is pretty much um, has got this particular code and you can just copy and paste it and you can use it on your own uh, local system right so I, if you just want to copy it and just paste it and then you're going to work with this particular code and then if there is some error then you can modify it or you can also do something different out of this so let me uh, just select this particular functions or whatever the model that it has, it has, it has recommended right so i can right click on this and i can also click on this explain code gpt so what it will do is it will try to explain each and every step of this particular function like what it is doing with with this particular functionalities and uh, this is gonna help us to understand the exact code if you don't understand this particular concept right so that's how this particular uh, extension code gpt is helping us to uh, understand everything about uh, the code structure that it has outputted and then you can use it on your own purpose and even you can reconfigure it based on your uh, use case so that's the beauty of this particular extension and then you can use it uh, for your own uh, uh, projects i've been using this uh, code gpt for my use cases and for my projects so it has been pretty much amazing experiences and i'm able to do uh, all my parts of uh, coding in a very uh, efficient way and i am i am able to utilize all of the things and all of, all of the uh, utilities of this chat gpt uh, using the vs code so it has been an amazing experience hope you also start using this particular uh, code gpt so as you can see on the screen uh, it is able to explain all the different functionalities of uh, the code uh, in a much detailed way so i think this is the way this is the way that you can do it and if you want to play uh, around with some api key access so what you're going to do is uh, you're going to press control shift and p and then that's how you're going to open and then you're going to type code gpt uh, set api you can see that's all automatically recommended and that's how the taskbar comes up and here you're going to set your api key that you copied from openai and then you're going to set this uh, openai open uh, key and then you're going to press enter and then you can start using uh, code gpt uh, by right clicking on ask chat gpt right so that's the better way to do it and that's how you're going to do it to extract the information from chat gpt and get better uh, quality results so i hope you enjoy this particular video and you will use this particular functionality and extension of code gpt in your own projects thank you